Hmm, so what are the most affordable new pickup trucks you can buy today? Now, the answer to that very question is coming up next. Welcome to another short list. You know, it's funny, America's most popular cars these days are actually trucks, with millions of them finding new homes every year. It seems in the 21st century, 4x4 crew cab pickups have become the new family sedan. But not everyone needs a truck for domestic duties. Some people use them to, you know, work. Fleet customers, contractors, and bargain hunters alike don't care about massaging leather seats, multi-panel sunroofs, or the latest tech. They want a rugged vehicle with the lowest price. So here are a dozen, yes, a dozen, because I wanted something different, of the most affordable pickup trucks available today. Kicking this list off is the popular Ford F-250, Dearborn's entry-level Super Duty truck. In base XL trim with a regular cab body, 8-foot bed, and 2-wheel drive, it starts around 35 grand. At that price, you get a standard 6.2-liter gasoline V8 with 385 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. This engine is matched to a 6-speed automatic transmission, which routes twist to a set of stylish 17-inch painted steel wheels. Moving along, Toyota's Tundra is not the newest full-size pickup on the market today, not by a long shot, but it is probably the most reliable. When it comes to value, you can pick up an entry-level SR model for $33,000, including delivery charges. That gets you an extended cab body with a six and a half foot bed. Under the hood resides a 4.6 liter V8 that's good for 310 horsepower and 327 pound-feet of torque. A six-speed auto box and two-wheel drive round out this truck's powertrain. Hey, if you like what you see here, I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click on that big red button. And if you'd like to be notified when we upload new videos, hit the bell icon too. Undercutting the Tundra by nearly a grand is Nissan's Titan. The most affordable version you can get features a regular cab body and two-wheel drive. In entry-level S trim, it comes with features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and even air conditioning. Power is provided by a standard 5.6 liter V8 with 390 horses and 394 pound-feet of torque. A seven-speed automatic does the shifting. Next up, a truck that's not really a truck because, well, it's kind of a minivan. And I'm talking, of course, about the Honda Ridgeline. Rather than having a heavy, separate ladder-style frame, this rig is based on a unibody architecture, sharing key components with other large Hondas like the Pilot, Passport, and yes, even the Odyssey. That's a minivan. A base front-wheel drive RT model can be yours for 31 grand in change. Now, that gets you a 3.5 liter V6, a concealed in-bed trunk, and a tailgate that both drops down and swings to the side. Neat O. The Ridgeline is graced with 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque, plus cylinder deactivation for enhanced fuel economy. A six-speed automatic is the only gearbox offered. Now, a lot of you are probably raising cane because the Ridgeline, it's not a real truck, since it doesn't have a frame. And there's no V8 engine, mm, mm Well, I'm sorry to say, this is all that most people really need. It can haul plenty of stuff, plus it's comfortable, efficient, and well, basically drives like an Accord. But if you want something more traditional and with greater capability, Chevrolet will happily sell you an all-new Silverado. A bare-bones work truck model can be had for less than $30,000, including delivery fees. And that gets you a three-person bench seat and an eight-foot bed, well, technically 98.18 inches. A 4.3-liter V6 delivers the goods, 285 horsepower. Its 305 pound-feet of peak torque are routed through a six-speed automatic transmission, spinning just the rear wheels, which happen to span 17 inches and be made of steel. Undercutting its crosstown rival by the price of a fancy steak dinner is the aluminum-bodied Ford F-150. In stripped-down XL trim, it comes with a regular cab body and a six-and-a-half-foot bed. At that price, you also get a 3.3-liter V6 
augmented by both port and direct fuel injection, so it delivers more horsepower and torque than you might expect for a naturally aspirated unit of this displacement. It's 290 ponies, 265 pound-feet. Rounding out this drivetrain is a six-speed automatic transmission and, predictably, rear-wheel drive. Now for the best value in the full-size pickup segment, the Ram 1500 Classic. Even though FCA introduced an all-new light-duty Ram a year or so ago, they've kept the previous generation in production to offer customers more choice and an even better value. In tradesman trim with a regular cab and two-wheel drive, you can take one home for about $29,000. That also gets you a 3.6-liter Pentastar V6 with 305 horsepower and 269 pound-feet. An eight-speed automatic transmission is standard. Dropping down to the mid-size truck segment, let's talk Ford Ranger. The most affordable version of this smart-sized pickup goes for less than $25.5, including delivery. That gets you an XL model powered by a muscular 2.3-liter EcoBoost 4-banger matched to a 10-speed automatic transmission. This combo gives you 270 horsepower with 310 torques. Those figures enable a maximum payload rating of 1,860 pounds and the ability to tow up to 7,500 pounds. Best of all, you get a choice of either cloth or deluxe vinyl seating surfaces. Vinyl is the top choice of professionals everywhere. A space age material, it's impervious to dust, dirt, and even abrasive wear, all with that unmistakable new car scent. But for even less than the Ranger, you can nab a Toyota Tacoma, which sets the standard in mid-size pickup longevity. A few Andrew Jackson's more than 25 large gets you an SR grade with the access cab body and a six-foot bed. Up front resides a 2.7-liter four-cylinder engine with 159 horsepower. Its 180 pound-feet of torque is routed to the rear wheels through a six-speed automatic transmission. This rig's signature on-the-floor seating position is, of course, included free of charge. Next, we go professional grade with the GMC Canyon. In entry-level SL trim, you get an extended cab body for a bit of extra interior room, plus a 74-inch long bed that will haul plenty of stuff. Between the front fenders is a fire-breathing 2.5-liter four-cylinder that's rated at 200 horses and 191 pound-feet of torque. A six-speed automatic is standard, and you get all this for around $23,295, including destination. But undercutting its corporate sibling by about 900 bucks is the Chevrolet Colorado. In base trim, seriously, that's what they call it. Work truck is actually a step up from there. You get the same cab, bed, and powertrain as the GMC we just talked about. In the Colorado, a manual transmission used to be offered, but sadly, it has since been discontinued due to low sales. Shame on y'all for not buying one, and you wonder why we can't have nice things. It's just disgusting. So appalled. But what is the most affordable truck around? Well, for the time being at least, that honor goes to the Nissan Frontier. For a mere $20,135, including $1,045 in delivery fees, you can drive home in an extended cab S model of this popular, if antiquated, pickup. Now this gets you rear-wheel drive, a row-your-own five-speed manual gearbox, and even a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine. Output is modest, clocking in at 152 horses and 171 pound-feet, but for the price, it's easy to look past some of the frontier shortcomings. And that brings us to the end of another episode of The Shortlist. Thank you so very much for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure to go back and vote in the two polls that are part of this video. Do it, please. And on a personal note, my favorite thing about taco meat is the mouthfeel. You like the last song that I sang at the end of another shortlist? Yeah. Well, we're at the end of this particular shortlist, but no, it's not the end. We've got plenty more, at least 49 others, so give them a watcheroo. That's my gift special just for you. Yeah, yeah.